It's a little dark in here. Oh, hey, <laughs> lights are on now. It's Yeti, and I have another fun story to share with you right out of the Bible. We are going to learn about a guy named Solomon. Hello, my distinguished guests. My name is Solomon, and I was given the great privilege to build the first temple to God, a place where the Ark of the Covenant would be stored. Some of you may be thinking, what's a temple? Now, a temple is a place where people gather to worship God. And the Ark of the Covenant was a beautiful chest that Moses and the Israelites made hundreds of years before I was born. It represented God's presence with the people of Israel. And the Ark of the what? We should probably rewind a bit. Israel was once enslaved by the Egyptians. God appeared to a guy named Moses. Hi, I'm Moses. God then used Moses to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt. Then he gave Moses instructions to build the Ark of the Covenant. God then used Moses to lead the people out of Egypt. He gave Moses instructions just like this one right here. That's a lot on there. And he was to build the Ark of the Covenant. Inside the Ark of the Covenant were three things. Um, uh, Solomon, what was inside the Ark of the Covenant? The three things inside the chest of the Ark of the Covenant were the staff of Aaron, which was Moses' brother. God used Aaron's staff to perform mighty signs. His staff was turned into a snake, turned water into blood, summoned frogs, and gnats. It really represented God's power. What's manna? I'm Aaron, Moses' older brother, and I'm the Pharaoh. Watch out, Pharaoh. If you don't let the people go, there is going to be great and terrible things. And it all starts with this rod right here. Watch <laughs> as I turn it into a snake. Ooh, a stick. Oh, I'm so afraid of that stick. What's really gonna? Wait a second. You just you just turn that you just turn that stick into a snake. Oh, I hate snakes. Attack. Get out of here. Get him, my. Get him. Yes, yes. Man, it was special bread that God sent to Israel from the sky. The last thing in the Ark of the Covenant was the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments was lists of ways that God wanted his people to live their lives. There were things like honor your mother and father, don't steal, and so on. D here. Honor your mother and father. Whoa, 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 dude. Are, are, are you kidding me? Like, no. Whoa. I, I, yeah. okay, okay. Read okay. number eight. Uh, the, 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 do, do not steal. It's right there, you number eight. I'm out To oh. see why I was so excited to build the temple. We finally had a home to put the Ark of the Covenant. This called for a celebration. We sang, danced, feasted, and offered sacrifices to the Lord for 14 days. Whoa, I didn't realize how important the Ark was and how important those items were inside the Ark. It was a reminder that God was with his people. In fact, they even carried the Ark of the Covenant into battle to show their enemies that God would be there and he would fight for them. Wow, whether it was Moses or his great grandkids or his great, 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 great grandkids or even us today, God's presence is with us. And you know what else? God's presence is with us today. Many years later, God would send his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. God's presence, or the Holy Spirit, is with us wherever we go. How exciting is that? Well, kids, that's all the time we have for today. See you next week. Yeti out. No, I didn't say lights out. I said Yeti out. See ya.